In this video, we will explore the new streamlined commenting processes of Acrobat 10. Comments are notes that rest on top of a PDF file to indicate changes, suggestions, or approvals. In addition to the favored sticky notes, you can use the many drawing and text markup tools as well as attach documents and sound tools to convey your message. I can right click anywhere on this document to add a sticky note. The sticky note is the preferred Adobe Acrobat method of communicating or marking up changes on a PDF file. Notice the center of the note is transparent now, so you can see through it to help the viewer know where the change is being made. When you first open Adobe Acrobat 10, you can see the new clean organized interface and you can now easily locate the commonly used commenting tools. The Add Sticky Note tool and the Highlight tool are now accessed from the new Quick Tools area. By dragging this tool over the text, you draw attention with the yellow mark. Most people never use a sticky note that lies beneath the highlight. In Acrobat 10, you can review these comments easily through the new Comments task pane. The new comment pane categorizes comments by annotation, drawing markups, review, and comment list. The location of the new panels keep them out of the way of the document, yet make it easy to find the commenting tools and comments. As you can see here, the comments are presented, and you can see the author, the location, the timestamp, and the type of commenting tools that was used. The panel provides sorting and filtering of comments for easier searches. Notice how the animated highlight helps identify the location as I click within the first comment. I can export this selected comment to a Word or AutoCAD or data file. And I can also type in the new Find comment field to locate and filter a specific comment. As I remove the type, I can see the rest of the comments. Okay, as I toggle through these comments, the sticky note location is highlighted, and I can also select this check mark to follow my review progress. On the document page, I can still hover over a comment to reveal the content as I did in a previous version, and I can even add comments within a video. Another new feature of Acrobat 10 is the easy ability to change my font preference for notes. I can go to the commenting preferences within my comment list and I can change the font and the behavior and the appearance of my comments. If I want to continue adding comments with the annotations and the drawing markup tools, I can make both panels stay open by changing the panel display. The new icons are simplified and the tools use color to, to more easily identify the type of change. Deleted text is red and insertions and additions are blue. I'm just going to select some text here and press delete. And you can see that there's my deleted text. I can sort my comments by type page, author, date, and check mark status. I'll go ahead and do it by type. And I'm going to go to the stamp tool which has its own menu and that allows you to select the installed stamps or you can create your custom stamps. Drawing markups sit on top of the PDF file like comments and if I want to relocate some of my favorite commenting tools I can add them to my quick tools. So I can click on a tool and right click and choose Add to Quick Tools and you can see it was added right here. Right clicking is another method of uncovering some of my favorite commenting options. Here you can see the status and the properties. 
You can also right click on notes to get to the properties or press control E. Notice as I click on my notes, you can see that there's a yellow highlight. If I click on the document page, it's deselected, and gray means it's not selected. While editing in Acrobat 10, I can switch to other tools. And with most of my tools out of the way, I can easily change tools or return to my commenting tools because Acrobat 10 remembers the organization of my tools. My comments can be sorted, they can be printed, imported, and exported. And with this Acrobat 10 release, the ability to add text edits, markups, and notes to correct a PDF file is organized within the new comments pane. You can add your favorite tools to the quick tools bar and toggle through your comments to review notes and changes with the comments list pane. Acrobat 10 gives you an easier way to communicate your changes.